I'm standing here with Frank Fraley, President and CEO of the Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce. Frank, you just heard Mayor Clinton I. Young's fourth State of the City. Um, there were some great things in there regarding development, crime being down, uh, the hospital being saved, re more resources coming into the community. How does that help you advance the agenda of the Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce of attracting and retaining business in the city of Mount Vernon? A close and significant working relationship between the mayor and the business community is always good for the community. Uh, if he can attract businesses, we can continue to pay taxes, we can continue to lower the tax burden on the residents of the city, that's always a good thing. To be here tonight and support him uh, in this effort to build bigger and stronger bridges in Mount Vernon is, is exactly what we're all about as, as the uh, members of the Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce. And in terms of job creation, how, how, what is your perspective, what can the residents expect to see on the horizon in terms of jobs in the city of Mount Vernon? If the plans that are on the drawing board come to fruition, the residents of the city of Mount Vernon can continue to see growth. They can also see the residents and the businesses in Mount Vernon be part of that growth. So we not only uh, build stronger and, and a more sustainable city, we also put money into the hands and the pockets of our businesses and our residents. Now we know Vice Chairman Lyndon Williams was able to get the county a tax reduction. We hope with your support and the mayor's support and the people's support, we get more jobs in this city and reduce that tax burden. Thank you. I, I am all about that reduction of that tax burden. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.